Hey, recording in Hello. person. Hello. Hopefully, no network disruption this time. Yeah, it will happen over and over. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, what we have to be catching is like when it's frozen the image, because then just you know it's like we keep on going and speaking and we don't realize until oh fuck I lost you. Exactly, but for me it's okay if. Wait, no. Either way, it's not good. But if you're frozen, I can just improvise because for, of the recording. Because it's recording on my end. So yeah, but it, yeah, okay. So you can. If so, it's okay if I if if I if I'm froze while you're speaking, basically. Uh, if you're frozen while I'm speak, but still, I have to say it again. After to continue yeah. the conversation. Anyways, it's fine. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, and so what I, was... I started uh, my exhibition in Japan, which is kind of a big thing for me. I saw it. Yeah, it's, um, it's like that. It's kind of it's a physical big thing. It's, it's a big a thing. Yes, it's physically a big thing. Twelve meter wide. Too bad I can't. I don't know. I had the, the feeling, and I don't know if it's because, could be because it's like I'm not printed, but could be coming from there. Right. But I was thinking that somehow it feel like uh, it's loose, it loses something a little bit, I think. True, if, true. I don't know if you feel the same, but, but I was reflecting because you sent me this image, I saw it this morning, and I was thinking, I don't know, it could be come from like, oh, I'm not there. Mm. Uh, which, but also was reflecting that it loses. Could be, maybe, could be because it's just like, just like it's kind of close to this image that I have of the artist showing what can the artist do. You know, like in a way, politically, you're you are more safe when we are together. But I don't know how right. you see what I mean. In this, because then, yeah, it's politically without going too deep in that like politically it's easy just to break with me but at the same time i'm thinking i mean yeah that could go in a really political discussion of like yeah yeah totally because this is like of course uh like i'm happy about it generally but also to get there is a lot of well we didn't discuss much about it but uh for me i have to reflect a lot and of course, I have to justify, is it fine that I'm doing this, basically? Because in, in a way, I'm hijacking the practice to put it as, a, as my work, which is, you know, not, it's not cool. But then I also had thoughts around, like, for example, I'm using Hydra. For example, I'm doing yeah. other kind of practice with Floor that yeah. I used, like, some ideas came from that, and then also with you. Oh, no, course. you're frozen. Okay, oh, no. no, you're back. Oh, no, no, you're back. Now. <laughs> yes, uh, and of course, you know the practice we do, and yeah, I, I I wasn't sure. I actually I have to say I made another version that I didn't print, but I did recording with like different images from practices or like some things I did with floor. Like I put some stuff in the background. <laughs> that uh, and I was moving in front of it and but it didn't really like it, it's different from how we do as a practice like yeah no but but I think I think that because this is like it's a complicated thing that we are kind of discussing here which is like involves like personal things but also like the artist as a subject uh, like the artist uh, and then media art like there are different topics that you can really go with deep and i don't think um i don't I'm, i i understand all of this but somehow i feel that they are connected one thing that i can say like from my side but i, I think is that that the if you mean that 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 is fine whatever i mean i will you will be in your position i won't feel bad because it's coming from my practice as an artist so whatever you decide it all these things intersect you know like the work you do with floor the work you do with Hydra, the work you do with me is intersecting so imagine that you cannot imagine that you have to leave as an island 
from your mm -hmm. practice, from your artistic practice. If you, if for some reason, uh, this in, this work that you are de developing as an artist crosses, has these intersections, like now you're with Floor, and it's cool because also I talk with her. I, like it. So it's, um, it's fine, you know? So like in a personal level, you know, like in terms of like, uh, what I will say, like copyrights, of this kind of authorship kind of thing. I will say like from my side, like, also with like, I trust your decisions so whatever, it's fine. Um, but so what I think is to mention is what I, how I bring it, like somehow I felt then it's like, it feels that, that easily you can be more criticizable, like, or I could criticize you more yeah objectively i think um because like just the dimensions you know you have this dimension when you see your face there for instance so it's like it's such a statement like to be like that like there the aesthetics i think that it changed completely the 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 i think it's easier when you when you are with somebody else that in my, that case me I think that stating somehow that it's not such a, it's not such a, it doesn't feel like I am here looking like this, mm -hmm. this format, but it's more like we are doing some weird stuff. Yeah, even and though so I, I have control of like how you, I layer on top of you and stuff like that, but it's like, it's a duet in any ways. And because I think like it can give, but that's again, I'm saying like I'm speaking from my side, so I don't know how objective can I be with this. But the way how I feel trying to be objective is that I could see you portraying you while I see if you work towards something that is like practice based, something like that. You are not, and actually, I experienced that when I was doing my solo in you know that Remember, the ones I did like one for myself, and then I thought like this feel, um shortened i'm shortened by myself with my own aesthetic decisions um so although in the process of deciding which image because it's not real time you know it's not a practice this is this is a completely different process that you went through to print something like that so it's something that you're consciously deciding and overlaying but you're saying deciding what you want to see um and i think um yeah, it's, it, it seems to me that, but yeah, that you you are more like in the in the first plane. But and that could be also fine, you know. Like, for if you have a reason, if, if there is a reason why you have to see you, but why? I was thinking also that that could be something else. It's I make kind of like the analogy when we talk about like artists they use gold, for instance. Mm. as that other statement you know is there is there a statement is to use gold in such a way so it could be also that this is just you use that medium to uh to create yourself like this Godzilla Godzilla thing you know like this massive image of you could be you know what it could be mm. but then but then then but then it has to be a purpose I think somehow mm, because yeah. I mean I'm saying what I'm saying is like, if you decide to go in some direction like this, I think you should have somehow more consciousness of the people will criticize you, I think, or like there is a political um, tangent that people can somehow go there. While when you are first with me in the case of the practices is, I don't think that aesthetically is better or worse because it's very similar aesthetically, but politically speaking, there is not mm -hmm. too much to, to, to jump on this. When we are doing together. Yeah, but like could be maybe mm -hmm. if there will be two white guys, for instance, you know, if there are two white okay, guys, yeah, yeah. perhaps, because somehow like we, we, we were saying this with you now and stuff like we are in, a, in a, I think, in a privileged place of intermediality of being queer. So to right. be not the, the white male. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, not trying to avoid what you said, but uh, like also what you said just before about, so it's not a practice, but I was making it towards printing, let's say. And that was really different process. Like, you know, I tried to follow the protocol of, 
a practice, but I didn't set one hour, for example, and I record something and then I look at look back what I did. I, I did the same thing, like record with OBS and take a screenshot. And then I'm not satisfied. So usually after the practice, I wouldn't do another practice, but I would just record it again and take a screenshot from that video. And I was not happy. So I did like twice or three times. And then finally I cho chose that image, but that's already like a lot of rehearsing, which is different from by the way, so can you repeat again? So then you basically did you use so you practice, right? You, you said you were practicing. I did it by myself, like recording a video. And then and you I did, did it for one hour? No, I didn't decide, but in the end it was it took more than one hour. Each time that you practice? No, 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 no like to in total. Like let's say 30 minutes. Yeah. And then I do yeah, man, you know, like, I think I, th I think this gives space for something that I was thinking I was in the place that I am right now. Is that I think like in a way, I think we need each other in the sense of and the practice because it's in real time and there's so many mm -hmm. shit happening that we don't have time to to think, right? So right. for instance, the place that I am uh, and, and when you have tools or there's so many resources, like I was checking like just today, I was in the motion bank, man, they have some, you know, some books and stuff like some documentation, like there's very, very, very into the point of things that, that that we talk and but then then i mean then easily i can just go get lost in, into into this you know mm -hmm. like um so but what i'm trying to say to, to is that um yeah the process i guess of kind of conscious of like this yeah decision making i think is that like decision making is just hard and yeah, same here. I mean, There's too many things, too many, you know, too much equipment, too much time that you can easily get stuck in, you know, just debugging something. Hmm. Because it's fun. How, how, to, yeah, I, I wanted to know like how is it how is it going with you guys? So what is happening? Like, so if, yeah. What is, let's say like guys the last classes or something like that? So the last week was uh let's say the first week of like actually working well working or like research and basically we just decided to work with some physical stuff like uh yeah mostly with the plotter pen plotter that i saw it's not that like you know that moves like this like pen moves uh, in 2d space but that one is a bit different so that it's uh it's being designed uh, for drawing like for art well it's it's more like a uh, like vinyl cutter, you know, like there's there's like or paper. stickers, yeah, but yeah, yeah, exactly, like feeder, and then the paper moves, and then the the pen moves only in one direction, so it combines these two axes to. So the pen, so the paper, pen paper. moves to an x axis, and the paper moves in y axis. Exactly, and with the combination, either you can cut cut the paper vinyl cloth or you can draw something with a pen and did you do this by yourself or did you receive some workshop or did you ask some help for that uh the technician was uh so basically the other fellow from the last time like the last round they bought this uh plotter through the academy and then so the, the technicians know how to use it so i just set it up with one of the technicians i mean mostly i he just told me like which software I need. And then there's like open source version that I installed with uh, Inkscape plugin. And then it just works. Well, I need to adjust some parameters, but. Okay. It works now. Um, yeah, I, I can start going with technical question like, oh yeah, is this like a vector? Well, maybe it's a vector, know, so yes. It's, yeah, it's like, you know, Illustrator is like vector based, right? Like, yeah. 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 Okay, but I think what is interesting is I was thinking is, so, yeah. So you guys were doing that, uh, but that's not a class. That was just like you're cur you were curious and you ask some help and start just playing with that. Yeah, and it's also you know the idea of the fellowship is not to produce something, but it's more about research. So it's kind of valid to just explore 
with Plotter, but you know, it's it's very tricky. How, well, we might think just there, end is, up. Yeah. there is this concept like which I think is not really I think it should be old, but it's just now is resonating in this idea of performing what is it? Performing a process. I think there is even a book of that. And I think in con in, in the state of the art of contemporary art. The state of the art of con contemporary dance, I think that's where they are. You know, like the the extreme of this, the extreme of this is uh, I dog the. Egg. They are mm -hmm. the extreme. You know, they are maybe too much because they they are so they are like living in this nirvana that they don't really care at all of, of the shape of if somebody like it or they understand or not. They are, I think, really at the other side of that. Um, I think I separate myself from contemporary dance at the point when I start, I think it was from 2017, I think, 16, when I started, like, I was part of, I guess, all these contemporary dance things. And then I started just trying to work toward design and trying to communicate with design mm. to a more wider audience. That was my purpose of working with design and not be so self-referential and other things. Um, so, but now, now I see uh, that I'm coming back to the, these things like these are, are coming back to me, you know? Um, and then, then I was thinking, ah, okay. So, uh, I mean, what I'm trying to say, like, I think I was trying to mix with something before is that what is the, what is the threshold you know, what is the threshold where if you are performing a process or if you're interested in performing a process, for instance, like I'm, I'm in a space that I'm, I'm challenging myself because this is, a, is somehow is within a design context. So I'm challenging myself to still st stick to something that it has a purpose somehow. So somehow there is functional, but at the same time, I'm trying to open, you know, to open up. Also, a lot in, in, uh, the conversation that I have with you the last time was uh, the last uh, Sunday was was helping me also to to slowly to open up. It doesn't mean that I cannot keep my focus also, but then to open up. And then I was thinking that where is the threshold where I where is the threshold where something is in a way like interesting or not? You know, for that's for very tricky because. Us. As soon as I hear that, I think that threshold, the notion of threshold is coming from a design perspective, right? Yeah, that, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and I understand what you mean. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's very biased in, in that sense that you are already judging from, I'm not saying it's good or bad, but like, evalu like yeah, evaluating from the design perspective if this is absolutely. interesting or not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Threshold. Yeah, yeah, because this, this is actually it's actually is from a functional point of view that I'm just trying to see is this gonna work for these people right. or not? Yeah, and that's that's the sign. Yeah, yeah, true. But then also like I don't know, like now I well maybe because we worked on the installation at Tan's house earlier, I really feel like I really value the design part. Like it's just like a personal thing that like also when I started with floor I feel like you know okay we have to make something that is meaningful like wh whatever we make fun of uh, well, not make fun, uh, to, to have fun exploring different material different uh, expression if it doesn't you know if no one can understand then there's, there's no point so we have to if we are working in a theater, then theater people should understand somehow. It shouldn't be anything geeky, but that's very design perspective of understanding the audience, the user. But this is this is interesting. I mean, I was talking with Florian the last Friday, so um, then I. Um, by the way, like so, I am the updating this. I'm doing this weekly report. So then I put it in the link that you know. So the second week, and then um, then I was. So this idea the, of the mover user is coming back now, and my oh, what I'm doing. I want my user is a mover, right? And that's something that um, um, I haven't. 
if you if you're checking my notes, they're not finished yet, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I'm gonna check it. Uh, like it's gonna be finished tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so this idea of the in my documentation, I'm like so this idea of the mover user and also the audience user are 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 there in 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 something that I, I want to write uh, or that I want to to and to understand a little bit better and write. Uh, and this is I'm saying this because of the installation. Those are, are the audience user, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was in that case, it was very clear because we kind of understand, well, we kind of guessed who would come. And that's really, you know, like really like dance audience and not really tech people coming to see that installation because it was a theater, dance theater venue. But we prototype even like people that even in that case, we even we create personas. Like we prototype case of use of that. Yeah, but one was like a dancer and also even the tech guy was also, he knows, he has dance background, for example. Did we, yeah, I think we didn't even think about someone who's interested in digital, digital art and doesn't know uh, much about dance. I don't know. But anyways, um, but that, that process was really good because that really framed what we, not what we want, but who we want to show the installation to. And I don't know what is your case. Is it like with the, is it like with Dance Academy or like what is, what would be the what target audience if you the make like, audience? visualization? Uh, <laughs> um, no, is or is it yourself? Uh, or? Anybody who wants to move, like mover, I will say a mover, but it doesn't have to be a dancer. It's a mover. Mm -hmm. um, but then also reflection with Florian, he was saying, for instance, that that I need to get rid of the of my of the developer, like of the Jorge developer while I'm, when I'm performing. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's true, like, for instance, something that I realized this week is like, because it's so expensive to create this motion capture, then when I'm going to, when I'm to record, I have this pressure of being effective of what I'm doing. Like, I want my data to be useful for something. Um, I and I think that's not helping too much, um, but also it's difficult to not get there, even though, and this is very interesting because for instance, like I know, so I'm the, I'm the technician and also I'm the artist, I'm there, um, right? So as a technician, like I know that that's going to take certain time to, to be running. Um, but then uh, also then I get impatient as a, as a dancer when I have to perform while I'm doing that process. Uh, and then when I have to perform, it's like, I feel super, it feels like not, or, not organic because I feel like now I have to perform. Mm -hmm. And it's like out of the sudden, I'm not ready to perform. So then I'm trying to use the morning sessions that I do from nine to 10, which are great. The same time, yeah, I think, I think the last time I was doing something like that could be more than five years, six years, like to every day to move for one hour. And this is great. My body is like, it feels like in a party, you know. Like it's very interesting how every 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 day is like, wow, dude, is like doing some slowly some things. Uh, also with my age that I can recognize, I don't have my knees that I have five years ago, like things like that, for instance. Um, so when I finish, for instance, this session of the dancing thing, I feel now will be great to do a motion capture. I have this feeling. On the Thursday, then I thought maybe the system should be ready for this. And then I've kind of like spent a little bit of time like doing that. And then it's like already it was like five minutes 
So I'm completely in a different state of mind. I'm not in the dancer anymore. Like you're, because you're setting up the motion capture. Yeah, because like I'm, I'm with this flow. I'm in the flow of dancing. And I'm like, oh, wow, now I can record this because now it is the moment. And then said, okay, let's try and just do it faster. And then I'm trying to do things fast in a really simple way. Then when I realize it's like five minutes doing all the setting and I'm still not, I mean, less than 50% of the process start recording so i'm like no fuck it this is just not the space you know it's like it's it's me it's like between this like duality of the dance or the dancer or like the somatic experience of myself or my brain experience that is like no dude like don't be like that let me finish when i, I you know like let me finish i'm doing the nice thing and then we can start doing what you want so it's 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 a bit tricky this um mm. so this thing um but what i was saying yeah so the florian was saying that gives some um, i said i was talking with him of this and he said like you need to find a way how to just get rid of this developer thing you know like the uh, and then he suggests like why don't you uh like then record yourself and then record the br and then annotate that and then i thought like okay I guess, like, I mean, the first thing I thought is like, oh, I don't want to spend time in learning how to use the tool uh, to, to learn this thing. But then after, I mean, it's slowly, I guess, this, I start doing some timeline also, like, I guess I will use this. I don't know if I will use the tool, but I get what I'm trying to do is like, I need to annotate, I need to repeat. That's one of the things that I found in this book that I told you that I, that I that I they have here is very interesting. It's very interesting. Like it's just like short essays of like I think everything that they have done so far. I think um, um so but so no motion bank but just their tools applied in different contexts and then some academics wrote like two three pages reports of what they find so it's very into the point of does it work works it's not working it's really straightforward but in part of the editorial, then what uh, the David uh, Rittenhouse and Scott de la Junta, then and Rebecca something that I don't know her last name, then they they wrote there's something that they say like that there is so much about like seeing material over and over and over that okay. that there are things that appear when you watch material many times. Um, and that's something that is, this week is slowly started thinking that, okay, because I thought for instance, like with one developer that he created the visualizations of, uh, you know, his name is uh, Christian. He, yeah, I, I think I know him now. So he was the one who created this in three, three years uh, uh, for- Spaghetti, I think. Yes, spaghetti thing. So I think I was trying to talk with him like in the first week and then, one of the things that I remember that I was trying to get more conceptual things, you know, and I think he's very, he's very practical. He's, he's a developer. So, but the only thing he was saying is like, I saw these things, like I can tell you more than 50 times, the whole piece, which is one hour. He was saying, I saw that, like, I can tell you more than 50 times, one hour. Um, and I was trying to get just conceptual thing, you know, I was trying, why you had took these decisions or not? And he said it was somehow more like an, an organic process. Uh, but it comes basically because he just repeat that over and over and over and over. So it becomes like a, 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 a similar process that what I guess a pianist or like, some, yeah, like a, it just becomes something automatic, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, this is the I'm thinking that I, I think I want to start analyzing somehow what happens. But then, yeah, but then final way also the threshold. The thing is as an artist and we are not used too much to analyze what we do or like to let's say annotate what we do, but we just, mm -hmm. we, we build things, right? So, uh, yeah. So this is some like something you like thinking. Also, I don't want to spend, it just feels to me, I don't want to spend like super, I don't know, a lot of time, like in 10 seconds of movement, you know, 
It's just, right. it's just for me, it seems just a constraint, like, but slowly I start opening. Like, I just don't want to see like, oh, I don't want to go and then start writing over and over. I mean, for something that is just 10 seconds, one minute uh, on movement in VR. Because for me, somehow it's, it, st it stays still technical, but it's because I think there is more reasons that are not just technical, but I think there, there is, I slowly start seeing in text where they grow up, right? And when I talk also with Florian, like, although this is very technical, there is a, a lot of reason of, of a lot of unveiling of the dance or the piece or new, actually new forms of, uh, like a transformation of this piece. Like one of the things like the Scott give me in, in, in a remark on the text when uh, about the my bachelor proof, he was saying that when I said about the archiving process, then I mentioned that the that the text is a document of the past. And then uh, he says that he said like a document can be in present, can represent pet present and can change in present uh, like the, the the fact that you are with a paper and with a with a stilo is is, is not different from the dance that okay. that is a space of being with a computer writing a text or if just uh, in this thing that i think i showed you the last time also it's like drawing hypotheses in the first chapter the person speaks also a bit of about diagrams and short like what, what they said is that like yeah the, the, the moment uh, so they see this as a choreographic thing so this the, the act of writing or to create a diagram or to create a, a, a drawing as a choreographic income. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, you're um, frozen. Okay, it's a bit choppy, but maybe I say something from different perspective because we've been exploring a lot with the PEM plotter and that's really, you know, it's it's working with a pen, and it's Ooh. just a matter of like the motors, like controlling the motors, like with one axis and another axis, and you can actually hear. You know, it's like three D printer. Like I don't know, if you saw like you hear sound from three D printer, right? It makes like a kind of weird, funny noise because it moves in a very um, periodic, but also you know like in a way that the movement uh, creates, you know, very specific kind of sound. Um, so it's it's like choreography, um, also like in a way it's sound installation, but also it's drawing in real time. And that's, I don't know, I'm just saying because it kind of, you know, relates to, like I was thinking about this from, my perspective of working pen filter, and then you were saying about this from archiving um, and writing process. And yeah, I don't know how to expand. Yeah, no, but it, it reminds me when you were doing these printings, that like like with the printings that you were doing when you have the a slide, a slide offset. I mean, the, when you print over and over again, the, uh, the nuts really will just the, the printing will look different because it's just the way how physically will create the right. print. Yeah. The risograph. Yeah. 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 I I liked that work I did because so with the offset it's always different. I haven't gave you this one, but I have it. I brought it of course uh, here and I have it here. So this is not the one we talked we just talked about, but you know. Um, and this and there's another um, batch of work I did with like a bunch of lines that align in different ways. And that's really like I think it's for me it's good 
uh, example of hacking the medium because it's normally what you don't want the offset you don't want the offset but I made I made use of the, the glitch or the the error yeah, or yeah, glitch, yeah, yeah. the imperfection of the material and then we're like I also talked with Flor with uh, about the how can we make this plotter interesting with its glitch one thing we tried is actually to you know pull the paper while it's drawing so you so it, you you so like the you guys are pulling that while he's doing yeah that. i mean it, it happened accidentally you know because of some uh, alignment was off and it happened it was interesting but then i don't know we didn't really go we, we didn't really go far with that idea yet it's it's very simple but it doesn't really i feel it needs another extra step to make it interesting like if i really want to make something like this offset print it's a, it's still a bit too rough or raw yeah because in this in this process that i mean what in what you're saying here i think the what it makes it interesting is just is this is the series element you know that like if you will yeah. print just one it just doesn't say too much i think maybe that will, could be close of what happened in 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 the exposition with japan for instance like if you could have the opportunity to have like 10 of those banners for instance uh then then you have a series right um so i think that the in the example that you're speaking i think it works especially especially the one who is glitching uh because it's configured is uh, you made it for for that somehow so it's like not not or figures of a body but it's just some glitchy patterns um so i think yeah when it's a series like i think you're working towards a series um uh, could be and i think another kind of meta idea would be to do it with hand But then you know, yeah, serious. I think I mean to be honest, I think like you have a there is something interesting that you are developing with this analog stuff. But then you need to define what is that. But you you're going somewhere with this analog stuff. Like could be. Uh, yeah, it's like um, yeah, yeah, I think so. It would be interesting to think about you know like what if instead of plotter someone has to follow the instruction and draw something but then it becomes like a fluxus <laughs> people this is, doing this is, already this, like, is, you know. this is like the path, path finder yeah it could be <laughs> but this this path finder we spoke we spoke also with Fern on friday and then i think i think what is what, the beauty of this thing is there is not really smart you know the thing is not not smart but it's, it's just something that is there and then it actually gives it's, it's still the user can it is it's up to the user how to interact with this so it's very it's very primitive it's very primitive but because of its primitive it, it works so well that you can put it you can put that in different examples like if you could see that in br for instance also like uh, it's just the 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 idea behind it is so primitive that it works really well. Mm. This is very simple. Yeah. But then how, okay, so after this, coming back to what you were saying about like writing as a, what, what's, the, what's, how did you say it? Like it's present in the, in the present moment. That you write, or like what were yeah, you saying? The, yeah, the, yeah, but it is, it's in that regard that I think that wait, and then I just say specifically what he says. Um,
on the main, I don't find it. Anyway, I think it's in that direction that the, the, yeah. when you are writing is, I, I mean, I said this, it's a, doc, it's, it's a document, once you write something about the past, but he says it's something in the present. So it's still, it's, it's, it's in the present. So you can change it. I mean, it's just, some, it's, not, it's not ended. It's like a performance, no? It's not ended. It's a, it's a real, it's a momentary thing. It will happen only in the moment you're doing that, you're writing. Mm. So it's up, it's up to you what you do when you're writing. I see. But that's like um, also because he's writing all the time. Yeah. It's not like I have I captured something and I have to describe something, write it down. But it's more like, you know, just dumping his brain into text all the time, you know. It's just like oh. it's just like you're breathing. You have to write, and then it's just happened at this moment. But it's not that you are. It, yeah, it's it's. I don't know if it's right, but it's not about describing something that I saw at the moment and I write it down. But it's more about writing is just happening at this moment. I, I think I think like a, a simple I think it's complicated to really grasp it to be honest because you need to have the practice of that uh, mm -hmm. it's a practice right so then for instance like I think this Wednesday uh, David will David Rittenhouse will come and it's funny because like he's the only one that I haven't spoke like I mean I have so far interesting from my conversations from Motion Bank with uh, Scott de la Junta with Florian and with Anton each of them they have so a completely different world. And it's so, so rich. Every time when I talk with them, I'm like whoosh, absorbing, like uh, they're also because they're referring to so many things from dance that like go back into my dance thing, um, but also in context. So it's, a, it's very interesting. But with David, I didn't have the chance to talk, to talk with him in, in Berlin. And, and, and yeah, he said the other person that uh, he's, he's the one who is writing the applications, I think here. Mm. And so he's, he's the one who there for many years, right? Already, like, yeah. Maybe since the beginning. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, he's the he started here. Like he, Florian told me he's the first. Together with Anton, were the first people that Florian hired because the project was started by, the project was started by Scott. So and Scott was, mm -hmm. that actually he was the lead uh, uh, manager of the foresight project so it's called it's called de la junta was the, the lead of that project of motion man so when they finish the project and within the project they hire florian and and then when we finish the project then scott and florian were like okay there is so much here let's just go on and then afterwards then then Florian, then hire uh, Anton and David, and from there they start. Um, so, just to well make sure, and if anyone's watching, just to explain, uh, so Motion Bank started as a kind of part of Foresight Company as a research project un under Foresight Company, and then, as you said, because they want the project is over, but they wanted to keep going they found another house another home at uh Hochschule Mainz and they moved there now they are based in Mainz with a yeah. slightly new team yeah uh yeah but I think they passed like through Frankfurt first so they told me they, that friend told me also they have their not dodgy years but like they, they kind of like really went for like project to project to project kind of like mm -hmm. jumping from projects and now Florian was saying the last week now he seems like they're starting like big projects to to set um and somehow that they kind of like seeing like in the future that they would like to be independent as an institution and not be within the whole school uh, because that comes I with see. things right? yeah um, yeah and when they were traveling i think that's when i met them like basically they were running CCL choreographic coding yeah. labs like everywhere in the world. That was like, that was the time when they were trying to find out where to do. Where, that's what he was saying. Like that was like the like the time when they were trying going project per per project. Like just yeah. he was saying like I will wrote write the code on the on the on the airport. 
this. So I met them in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's I think it's quite different vibe than how it's now. Um, but wait, so go back to this. Is that different so they people have different experiences? practices yeah so, the, so then so they be the thing i would like to talk with him this with this wednesday so one of the feedback for instance the florida said to me when i show like to me what i did this week and actually i show him the grab basically the the writing of the last week because we could just talk on friday but then during this week there are many things that happen so i just told him like just bear with me because this is I, so at the end i think i will have some journal that I can put it in medium on motion banks, medium as an article or something. So he was happy with that. And then he was saying that, uh, so he give, he give me this feedback of the, uh, oh yeah, one of the things he was saying is that, is that to make sure that somehow like the, that I use the time that I'm here, which is, it was like, it makes me think that so I want to have this balance between like programming, so developing, and, uh, programming, coding, uh, making something, uh, writing, and seeing things basically like uh, resources. But then, what I'm uh, somehow I'm reflecting from this conversation with him is like there are some things that I can do when I'm not here, right? uh like i can see some resources and i can maybe finish my writing while i'm not here but it's, it's uh, i have to make sure that i spend the time and, and that, that doesn't mean necessarily like only technical resources let's say the motion capture system but also the physical like the human resources you know that i, that I take advantage of the conversation i could have with da david uh, with Anton, with Florian, like talk with Florian, it's very difficult because he's very busy, for instance. So, um, and this is something that I was not uh, that that I didn't thought like oh, until now. Like, ah, oh, okay, because mm -hmm. um, uh, I was thinking so far the last week that I will use also part of the time to really write and trying to write in almost academic way. So, like, force myself like to the writing thing, which I still will do, but I think I will not be so harsh on me. Uh, I still will try to create a writing like uh, like the, the one that I share with you. This somehow not notes, but that somebody can read it. That's what I'm doing in this thing because I have my notes. Um, but I think I won't spend that much time cleaning those uh, this shareable documentation. Um, you do it later. I will do that. I, I can do that later exactly. And then I can also pass at some point. I think I will start sharing that also with Scott and with David, and like for just uh, feedback and like normal writing. Um, but while I'm here, I think I should use the space and also the people that that, that I can make use of my time here. Because if I spend it alone writing, it's just like not too much sense. Mm -hmm. Right. I see. Yeah, but that's, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. And it's also about efficiency, good or bad. Oh, um, how efficiency? Well, to effect, effectively use time being in mind. Wow, by the way, like quotation mark. So this weekend I thought, like, okay, fuck it, I need to do something in the city like not only work so I slowly also start finding time for myself and then i realized that in in the cd i didn't know it was like the uh, the, the first press was I, first uh, here the gutenberg press was here and then i checked like that's why apparently the hochschule is like rank among the fifth in the whole world so they have all this i guess the uh, tradition with typography and design and stuff like that uh, because it's weird because they call it communication in German you know, like of this graphic design I found it a bit strange they call it communication one anyway mm -hmm. and also so that I saw that they have this there is a church of, of the Chagall uh, put the 
you know this glass with colors that you see in church oh, yeah extend the glass yeah i don't know how it's called it so there exists one church here that is like uh all the glass from the church are made from mar chagal and i was there on saturday and it's like man it's bonkers because i and i was not in the sunny time so it's like blue and then at some point with some special things it's very weird because like an art is an art installation in this massive church and then you are just it seems like it's very it's, it's very odd because it's, it's a massive art installation in the church because it's not normal the, the colors is yeah it's is blue so when i was there the feeling was dark blue you feel like down it's very strong interesting yeah it seems like uh maybe german people are obsessed with like making glass art installation in the in a church yeah uh, have because, you seen uh, that also world? yeah because uh, also in the um, cathedral in cologne i they really... have this uh, richter fenster richter window from gerhard richter ah, from richter ah oh, wow yeah so richter is just like glass a, there uh, it's hard to show but it's basically pixelated uh, also pixelated <laughs> on the chapel yeah, it's a big cathedral. <laughs> like the, and so they have these pixels on the chapel, and people have they they still go on to the church to the the service. Like yeah, it, it, it's I mean I don't know during Corona the if it's open now, but normally it's open. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I have to see that one in Cologne next time I go there. Yeah, that's super nice. It's like wow. This is this is the nicest. I mean, this is like the way who I guess art should be more like that. No, like it's something normal, but also if you want to experience as a oh wow, then you can stay and have the oh wow thing. Yeah. I'm just wondering like if this can be a window at some point. Okay. Could be. I was thinking an impuff. <laughs> Oh wow, maybe sure. like, like I'm sure I'm sure like if if we have the means that like, actually that could be proposed if we have the means could be interesting to propose to and I know like the person who is living with class uh, she's uh, um, she's working with glass apparently she I mean okay. she should be one of the there's not too much people working with glass this is kind of like an mm. old tradition so she the person who lives with class live, um, works with class. The person who work live with class work with glass. <laughs> and glass. she can she can make a practice a practice glass that we can put in the chapel of the Puff Chapel. <laughs> that would be so funny. Yeah, maybe you could also like make a wooden sculpture or something. I don't know. A cross. Why? How? I don't know. This is a chapel. Uh, it could be. So what is so what is like uh, you guys are you guys planning to work in something specific this week? What is your plan? How is it going with you guys? Uh... I guess we talk about it tomorrow, but I think from at the moment, I think it's interesting to try different things every, let's say every week, maybe next week's is glass. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's too early for glass, but. Uh, oh, cool. No, but yeah, that seems uh, nice. So then just testing some new materials basically. And then at some point, I guess, start thinking, what are we going to do from, from all this? Like passing from different approach, like physical approach. Yeah, I mean, that okay. could be one approach. I mean, it's, it's coming from, you know, like we're just like making a bunch of websites. So 
it's it's kind of the same thing. We just create a lot of things. It was on the web, but it can be again on the web, but it can be printed, plotted paper and then 3D prints. I don't know what else, but uh, then we just like, you know, have a pile of things and we could decide if we try to show something curated in the end or it just say that you know, like we did with websites we just have a pile of things and that's that's that i was thinking that other one that, that maybe it could be useful if you think like what are the things that can be transferred from one medium to the other one which is mm. this is not that's a good question or like that's a big question if you yeah like from the mediums how you transfer things from one medium to the other one when you work with glass how you or you work with the plotter how kind of um uh, like for instance if you work with the plotter then you transfer the pixels to the plotter right but then how i guess from the plotter also you can transfer something back to the original medium something yeah i mean actually i'm reusing the processing sketch for converting image to uh oscilloscope signals because how oscilloscope works is it can only draw lines it's like vector and someone made a program to feed image and then you know make outline of it with it within processing open cv and then generate signals for oscilloscope and then instead of generating signals you could just simply get the vectorized outline and feed it into plotter and you could do the same thing instead of showing an oscilloscope I think I didn't understand anything that you said. Wait, so you said like the, the oscilloscope normally will just do this, right? Yeah, but you can also draw like 2D lines with, with oscilloscope. settings. Yeah, if you feed two signals in, like normally it's like the time on one axis, but you could use another signal to, so one signal is for X and one signal is Y just like drawing in how would you say yeah like you can draw like in x y like 2d lines but they're all only lines it's like a plotter basically yeah so that's what you, yeah so like the uh... I saw floor post one thing. So because it's X and Y, like plotter, you could also use that data for the plotter. Instead of drawing those lines on the oscilloscope, you can move the pen to draw it. Of course, it's much slower on the plotter, but you could do the same thing. Interesting. But of course, how, like what kind of outline, like what kind of threshold would be interesting on oscilloscope and what kind of, you know, parameters would be interesting for plotter, they're different, right? Like, because it visually it's different. So yeah. you, you have, have to find yeah. different parameters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, in, yeah if you try just to put right straightforward the same position from the oscilloscope into the plotter it might be not so interesting it's, it's just it's a, it's a representation of the oscilloscope that could be more interesting right. to to still allow the plotter to do his thing you know do what a plotter normally do still with that yeah. information now, on the other hand plotter can be you know like huge paper a piece of paper uh but it's static like you draw once and that's it 
but with oscilloscope you can change the image just like a video yeah like in real time you could you can do something in real time so they're like different stuff um, yeah because the image is not yeah. so it's, the image is something that is like easily i mean you can perceive the image as something that is it alters very fast and but uh, if it's something physical like writing is not so yeah it's not the same it's not the same feeling changing it doesn't change that fast like an image you can no. change an image very fast completely but the physical uh, printing is you cannot change it so fast maybe you should get a laser like the controllable one that you can like basically like oscilloscope like you can you feed the signal and you can move the laser in 2d mm. but can you can you do you have a laser to draw do we have one uh i don't know otherwise we have to order one if you don't have because I guess you can use like you can use laser cutters, but then then just and then instead of a paper, then you just you use wood, and then just you engrave in the wood. Yeah, that's also possible. Or a three D printer could be possible. Three D printer will be the three D printer will be slower, no? Yeah, but what I was thinking about laser is like a like a laser projection. Or I guess like showing image on the wall with laser. Oh, you remember? I oh, know you didn't. Yeah, when Ars Electronica, there was one people that were they were doing something with the laser on the wall, and they were creating I... some. They were there, there was this thing that was moving, but because of the motion, it was creating some different patterns. Is it... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that, but uh, I've seen uh, performances by Robert Henke. He uses like state of the art, super fast laser that you can draw images and have like a huge wall uh, with audiovisual performance. Oh man. And if you if you order something that the equipment has to stay there, right? Yeah, that's why the plotter is there from the other fellow. <laughs> Maybe you guys should order like a badass laser, then I can use one more in after in one in one year. <laughs> oh there is there a lasers there? I need to check. I, I haven't seen them, but uh maybe well, otherwise we have to order. That could be cool. Yeah, why not? I didn't think about it. It's kind of funny. It's like a natural, you know, <laughs> progression from oscilloscope because it's just like same principle and bigger. And what I think also that is, I think that it can work is that, I mean, at the end, if you, so this is a, this is a point, you know, a point is the minimal expression a point actually is even something that you can it doesn't mean anything like in for instance touch designer a point cannot be represented because you, uh, you you need to put a substance in the point a point needs to be at least a line the distance between two points a line is the minimal distance between two points but a point is just a reference uh, the point is just a reference so if you think in a pen it's, it's a reference until it collapses the plane and Kandinsky speak about that like the uh, point and plane is about that is the, the point is nothing or it's just a reference until collapses until it's encounter with a paper at that moment becomes something so I was thinking that if you think in the process of also like the clutter laser then also if you think a website then it's also just it's a cursor it's a point it's a reference mm. Because the, the cursor is nothing. The cursor is just pointing. The, the, the cursor is pointing literally, but it's, you don't see anything. It's just it's a reference. 
So there is something around that idea, I think, that you can put back in the web, even if it's a laser. So if you experiment with lasers that you cannot put back in the in, in the in the web, then I think the reference of this point as reference that doesn't really exist, uh, you can bring that into the web, I think. <laughs> Like this is really like stupid and direct idea, but what I don't know if anyone did this uh, on the website. It can be processing sketch or whatever, but if you move the cursor, then it would make a sound that as if you have to move the the steppers, stepper motors, as if it's it's in the physical space, like 2D plotter, then you have to move the you know the two axes to move from one point to another. And then it will generate the sound because there is like motors that are controlling two axes. And yeah, they just basically say do the same thing with the web. So like if you move yeah. the cursor from here to there, then just take that path and as if the motors are moving, because you know the basically it's a it's a speed of the cursor correspond to the, the sound of the motor like the frequency of the motor so if it's yeah. slower movement it's slower uh shorter frequency and you can just use a synthesizer to make sound you know yeah i don't know <laughs> what uh, sound it is but it could be really fun you know just to yeah. think about or and like if, if you just yeah if you if you have like initial state you know or like say like um there is not sound or there is something that is not really drastic there is the initial state for the two plot i mean for the plotter and x on y but if you separate this like so you have an initial state that is very calm and you have another state that is really loud and very annoying but is completely away from the initial state uh then in a way you have some I don't know functionality is on purpose. It's up to the up to the person like how much noise a person wants or not. You know, if if, if the two if the two axes are in the same space, there is no sound. But if the two axes are in a different place, there might be a really big noise or or controlling some specific sound. Mm. But like you choose that, or like with the cursor that happens. You, I think, you know, you should be able to control, like, as you're saying, so then there is two, like, I don't know, I think could be interesting if there is two, no, let's put it simple. So then you have, so there's two motors. That's what you said also, no? There's two motors, right? So the two motors are in one place. And there is no sound or it's very calm, you know, even could be visually. It's something that is appealing or, or not. And then if, if this moves, it uh, it will generate one kind of sound, and then if this move, it will generate another kind of sound. But then the farther the point, this one will be. I think that's the rule that the farther each point will be from the initial point, the louder or the the bigger the effect in the sound is. Hmm. And we can always just like design the physics if it's website or simulation yeah of course it's also... yeah, that's... No, exactly yeah. Yeah, that's, I, think, I think that's the magic but what i think could be useful for you guys is is if you find like a, an initial state like a like a safe if you think also in dance then you have this if because it's about like improvising together no so that you have like initial state like a safe point the people don't know what is happening and if they don't know, they can go to that space. And in that space, the initial thing will happen. So I'm saying it's silence, but could it doesn't have to be silence. Maybe it's like a, a really nice composition from back, you know, like something that is really aesthetically nice. Um, but there is the, the idea behind it is that there is an initial state where the improvisation can go back. If they don't know what they're doing, that they know there's always an initial place from where to start again, because otherwise it goes into chaos. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is like, in a like a bigger scope, I, it's, I think it's something I want to come back as a dramaturgy 
if like even if it's an exhibition we decided to at the end it should be something more than like just having objects it has to have some kind of not not a storyline but some kind of dramaturgy if someone enters you know something happens and then you know these different steps they go through if it's a performance then it's more obvious because it's more in the time uh, we have the time axis then how do we work with like what you said like different states because it cannot be always busy we cannot just show okay these like images with plotters and then goes to images of laser cut 3d print but like what's the place where we can you know as a dramaturgy like we we can come back to as a initial state or something that is not like somewhere it's more chill i'm thinking that you're touching or i'm listening to something that i think it can help you is that you have you have um you can play with time because like websites they are not time based you know like they're timeless so you can stay in a website as long as you want but maybe mm -hmm. maybe in the way how you work with the websites perhaps it's not and that could be interesting you know that you have just 10 seconds to be in that website and that's it so that you can define actually that would be interesting already like you know like why do you like that you have just certain time for certain place if you're talking about drama throws you ready so this is very dramatic that you have just 10 seconds to do something in that website uh, and if you don't find out what was the time so next next and next and then then you can play even with time and maybe something maybe you, maybe one of these websites can stay there forever it doesn't have to be always time timed but i think this element of time you can think about it because websites are normally timeless nobody's pushing you out right true it's funny that if you, yeah you have 10 seconds to find out <laughs> yeah and what can be like uh the opposite uh analogy something that has time but we can twist it so that it doesn't expire like what do you mean? so website website is something let's say it's a permanent but we can introduce the timer then what's the like counterpart or like what's the opposite like for example it can be a performance that normally has time but we could do a durational performance I don't think or, I understand. Go back because I don't think I understand what you're saying. Because you said about the website, which let's say we don't have time constraint in the website. And so instead of like regular website, you would introduce like a timer that or like you know, like, expiration. Like, like time, time web time based website time web. yeah time so web based yeah <laughs> so what could be a medium that normally has time normally is you know temporary oh, okay. but we could make it permanent okay yeah I'd like a performance could be like that for instance yeah but there's already durational performances which is not too, like permanent, but it, but that's the idea, right? That normally yeah, it's lasts for one hour or two hours, but you would do it for eight hours. Sustain, like for instance, if you have like the, I don't know, an aria of Pavarotti or like, then you have that for some reason, so it's time, I think like naturally, if I'm just thinking a website, you have this audio file that is time, and for some reason you click something there is one part of this time thing that it stands forever 
it's never going to end. So like if mm. somebody's singing and they're singing, I'm going to stay there forever. It could be a straightforward could be video story. call. It could be a video call yeah. that someone's always there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very cool. The only thing I'm thinking is like, like the, some servers will die. Like what happened with this? This is entropy. This is going somewhere. Like technically, <laughs> why some, somebody's gonna suffer technically wise. Yeah. Also, it could be funny to do something in the server. But like I what? Know. No, but this I, I think this is cool. This that you said, like a the like an endless call. That will be nice. <laughs> I think that could yeah. work. Could be a project that you haven't. You don't promise that you're gonna be there. I mean, the time is there, like, I mean, the call is there and you or other people involved in the project, that could be interesting, actually. You can propose to some people, I will be like interested as will be part. So then if a pool of people, they want to join to that project, then is like at the, this end of the, uh, like the creative end of the project, like there will be sometimes somebody, but, sometimes nobody but the call will be non-interrupted until the end of the website until something crashes <laughs> of the website <laughs> yeah life of the website what can you use for that like you think a zoom call you can just stay there forever i have no idea no, because I think what the first thing is you will need you will need a computer, right? You will need a computer and internet connection and hope nothing is gonna happen. Right. But why you know what? You have my computer there, just why don't do a, a Zoom call? Mm, but a Zoom call you need to have another person, right? Oh yeah, sort of or or what, but yeah, or we could do Jitsi or whatever. And Jitsi, you can just join. Yeah, it could be just Jitsi. And you just go there and, but then you have to invite some people or let, let not, I think you have to do some curatorial thing. Like you have to launch the event somehow. Mm -hmm. And then people know that it will stay there until something happens. Um, what, what, I th what I think what is interesting this is actually actually it's coming from Florian this is somehow so they are building tools but motion they bank. also they, like motion bank so they build tools for people working with dance but also in, in their mind is like they're not promised I mean they can they are not a service provider so they they provide these tools but they also they cannot be uh, part of the project let's say with somebody you know, Florian was saying that sometimes people come or they ask me if i want to be if they if they can be part of the pro of some project or something but their motion bank is developing many uh, tools at the same time and they are overlapping and it's quite chaotic so they cannot give this attention like as an as in art you will do i think uh, to focus that uh, the energy and then together build something up so what they're doing, like it, they build these tools, but they somehow is is actually is the people, the person has to find its own doing within the tool, kind of similar to uh, how, how the CCL runs. I think there is more the CCL is more like a framework, and then people should be somehow find their way. Then there will be people that can help them, but it's not they cannot provide the project or something. Um, mm. I know it's it's different, but for example, like how we use LiveLab. I mean, LiveLab probably they have their specific use case, but it's more like we just found it and found it useful and we just do it our own way, but we would yeah. never ask them to, you know, add this feature and that feature. I mean, I do yeah. ask Olivia, but, you know, she wouldn't <laughs> implement yeah. what I asked for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's a, I think it's a good example. That, um, but so I think there is something interesting in that idea of like 
it's like to provide a service, but you are not a service provider. It's more close to uh, open source uh, community uh, mentality because you don't have the infrastructure also to, to provide a service. Um, so I think there is something conceptual that, that might be interesting, you know, if you think about this idea of like creating an endless video call that just you provide that and then some people will be there. Is you remember, I think it's similar to what in, in, in Node, I was doing this moving in the morning sessions and I think it's similar. Then some people sometimes they join and then yeah. start speaking. But then it's just like an endless thing. And I'm sure there should be people doing something like that. Um, yeah, that was really good because it's like, it's also hacking the platform. Like I just put what to eat and then, you know, random people started calling me. And then the next morning we did the moving movement in the morning and then, you know, random people came, maybe some left, but some stayed and talked with you, talked with us moving um yeah but it's also very difficult in jitsi because we can't really broadcast to people so we have to oh, find but i think maybe the, the, maybe something could be interesting for you guys to talk then together with flor is that conceptual i think is i think the space that you guys are the first thing like i think i'm not because it's different here is that you, you guys i think could be your i think you want to deal with communication because you have a website so you really work with these endpoint things. And then but then, then you conceptually, you can think with her, like, what does that mean? You know, you really break it down of what is communication, you know, like, is it the same? Like one is one to one, many to one, like just really understanding what is communication. Uh, because you, you guys work with that, like the website is that and it's a placeholder then somebody sometimes jump in there and go to get some information with so a client asking to the server i mean it, it, this at the core is really uh the simple idea of the emitter requesting something and responding something is the same model that uh than any, com any communication between people uh is the same how in the internet goes is there is no difference in that so I think that is, if you really take the time to study a little bit, because you have time to understand a little bit of communication, what is it? Um, then you will have resources, I think. I think, and then, and then you will find also limitations, you know, like, um, but mm. don't don't approach that from the technical point of view before, because if mm. you start thinking from Jitsi, for instance, like Jitsi cannot do that. I think better you go first and see like what actually are coming what is the communication thing and and talk yeah. with her because also i think flora it would be interesting to talk with her like mm -hmm. how fun just like researching that because you guys are really working about communication i think at the core you really have this thing a website is that i see no it, it, this is really interesting because i never thought from that perspective and also it's also front end is like really interesting because people would come and fetch data, but also like JavaScript is running on their browser. So it's like, you know, it's not, it's not just that like you were just reading someone's article, but the article is also in a way it's alive. That yeah, it does because something. you have to instantiate. Yeah, you have to instantiate. It's, it's it's, you have to, if you fetch it, it's true. It's on your side yeah. also. Yeah. yeah, this is, the, I mean, from there you can start going. I, I think this is something interesting. And yeah. and it's it's not so geeky. I mean, it's like, it's not necessarily going to the to developing, mm. but it's something that you guys can develop together. And I think Floor can help with also in, in, in thinking together. Uh, yeah. Like and I think that, yeah. And then we can also come back to like, what is plotter, what is oscilloscope, what is yep. laser, 3D printing, because that, yeah, I think that's that's very interesting. I wouldn't even think what it is at this moment because I think I would only come up with boring answers. Ideas oh man, but, because but you have to do you have to do this uh, and you have to do this um, endless uh, Zoom call. 
You're really I, mean, I think I think I think Nanju Peg did something like that. You mm. have to check that because I think like Nanju Peg was obsessed with it was with communication. That was his obsess. I mean, he was obsessed with putting people together. That was before the internet, no. So he was obsessed trying to make people from different places to to connect. Um. Um. Yeah, man. I think this is uh, this is very exciting. Like what you guys like. Uh, this idea of communication, you are really with the website and like things that you said for instance, the fetch, like this is, a, I, w- I wouldn't think of that. Like that's just completely mm-hmm. the same level. So it seems interesting. But so, but then if you do, for instance, I think if you do, <laughs> I think if you do, um, if you do like something of like endless call project, whatever you call it, then I think it's important then the way how you approach it because so I think you need to create a communication you need to follow like a design path of normally how these things for real are being launched you need to create a fuzz you need to target for certain people you need to send the invitations if you just put it out it's not the same like I think you need to follow some protocols like and then if you follow the protocols at the end it's just that but if it's just that before the protocols you might miss some things. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Uh, okay, let's put it constructive way. But um, I really these days I really think media art people, not many media art people know how to show stuff. It can be performance or it can be exhibition, but they're less experienced about like visual artists know, you know, they know how to put things and you know exhibit to fill the space, put up the sculpture or painting or whatever. But in media art, I think it's kind of always like, um, it's not a priority, like how you show things as an exhibition or performance. It's more about the like technical part that has the focus and you know like as a visitor often you don't have wow at the like when you enter the space it's not like wow but you have to see something and then okay then you have to understand what's what's behind it what's the technology but like you said about you know the designing uh like how to invite people and this is like always underestimated or overlooked as a process and as we said it's a design process that we have to think about but even either if we show it as an exhibition or show it as a performance i think it's really interesting to explore that part i mean it's, it's nothing different from what you said but i feel like it's something really needed in the and this is this is art. super interesting for me for me because for instance like now what i'm seeing i think i think i have a lot of i don't know so much about media art it seems to me that this is just i think i'm learning of this maybe one year and a half two years even though i hear from this like a little bit from time to time but so when i see some books that i see some books here and some reference then i don't know and i think in germany there is a lot of happening in, here in germany of this thing, more culture of that. Like for, I was just reflecting like, how much do I need to know, you know? Like, because before I watched some of the books that I saw today in, in the in Motion Bank, then I was more focused. And now I see many books and I'm like, okay, maybe I should just check, check. Um, so until when do you really have to um, pay attention to other sources. Wait, I I, I, I deviate, deviate from something that you were saying. You, you speak from ex- from your experience that you think in media art is often there is the is overlooked the way how people present their works, comparing to classical art, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That that's something that I don't know. For instance, so that's interesting mm-hmm. for me to know. Or maybe people are just not experienced. Maybe also, you know, 
it's related to the fact that there's less opportunity for media artists to exhibit or to perform. So maybe they just don't have experience with that. You know, if you have a gallery space, if you don't have experience, then you don't know where to put things, you know. And it's also, it's not just design, it's a it's an experience that you need to have. I'm not saying I have experience, but yeah. I don't know where to where, where to go with this, uh, but uh, interesting. The user experience of art. <laughs> yeah, but but it's really that, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, because this is is colliding at that point of like is the user experience of, of art. Yeah. Oh, it's very strange, but like we are. We are back to these um, these times of in the more modern modern times everything was splitted, and now things are coming back to one thing. You're like you're supposed to know many things at the same time now. So I'm guessing like from here to ten years, like it will be things more condensed back. But we are just start doing that slowly. We are you're supposed to know many yeah. things at the same time now. But the whole modernity time was about like splitting everything in something different. Yeah, maybe in 10 years you have to get like 10, 20 degrees until you're like 50s, you have to study in the university. I mean, we're kind of on the same boat, but yeah, if you think if you think actually really, if you think in the past, like like those who have the chance and, and of study, like if you think in Greek times, like of philosophers, like these people were, they have like five careers, like they, they were lawyers, architects, designers, artists, philosophers, all in one. Like, and I guess, so yeah, it just was, it's different the way how, yeah, if you think like how many, what can you do? These people like, they were just doing so many things, right? Yeah. <laughs> True. Okay. Yeah. Now. Close? Yeah, I'm gonna think about what my next uh, career is. Then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to also think. I really, to be honest, like I'm thinking that, like I'm seeing that I have experience, like we're in a practical level, dance and also design, and I'm thinking that I might need to spend some time, like academically, to connect these two. Um, that's what I'm thinking a little bit. What about a uh, PhD in art and science? <laughs> yeah, no, but I really, thought, I, was, I really thought like to like them. I have to consider that also in conversation with my girlfriend because I need to talk. It has to be practical. Um, but yeah, it's, since it seems that it needs some time to think in the middle mm. while practicing, while practicing. Practicing is important. Yeah. Maybe the, I will talk to you. Maybe maybe at some point, and then I talk to you next week, and then I do a practice from the, from my studio. If you have the time, we'll see. That'll be great. Yeah, I have my setup there, so why not? Yeah. Okay. Let me just. And speaking about practice, I I we try to with floor we try to do a jam every day, oh like weekdays, so we have a lot of material, and I think. That's also like the philosophy of practicing. Oh, so cool. So you guys are practicing basically every day. What do you do? Yeah. You, have, you jam. Oh, wow. That's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. I saw something that you guys did, like, and I think in like the, the one that is together, how it's called this folk, flock? Flock. Yeah. Yeah. I saw what one. And it seemed like I, I saw a little bit, and it seems like you guys really. It seems like you start almost like reading each other, no? Like you can, can complement what you guys do. But also, you know, a lot of questions. I would like to see, like, I would like to see one of your things because I think it would be boring if you just you make very nice things. That's you know? the thing. That's that's the question now. Like, because also it happens also at the practice, but you know, like you have your own recipe already if you practice a lot. 
that you come to the same method in a way like you, you I mean you have the same method so you end up with some kind of similar thing each time that you have to think about how to break in that well yeah but the thing is like i mean because what i was seeing that i'm just thinking now is i if if, if you are all the time with a computer i'm just seeing that you're adding you're adding something um with the practice you have the phys the possibility to physically just not yeah. do it and so then even if you are adding at some point you just don't do and you dance or you do whatever it is and then just you reset that yeah we have to end somewhere but i wanted to say something around that but like was it two weeks ago i was i was at this hack lab uh like live coding um event and you know some people were just like started like during that weekend and giving a performance in the end which was really nice but also like made me think like if you started life coding you feel like you add more and more and more to make it more you know complex pattern by adding more code mm -hmm. but to me it's more interesting when you start deleting lines or you just like completely erase it and start from scratch with something which needs some confidence to do it of course and i know that i can i can say that it's interesting because i know how to do that but i think that's kind of also like connected to the dramaturgy because you know it's not it cannot be just like going up 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 and then end but you have to have some kind of you know you have sure. to just delete everything to change to make another scene um yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the problem, the practice. But then the problem that we that you have, if you think, I was thinking about like sharing a workshop, like you know, a practice workshop. The problem is then you have like, is if people don't know. I mean, if you have like a live coding thing, so you can start like playing from what you have. If you have a template, um, and maybe you can erase and try things, but. Well, wow, I think this could work. It's the same. Like you need to have. It's the same. I think this idea of like an initial state is 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 something that we can use in different places. Like if you don't know how live code would be great, if you have a button which send you back to the first state, then you're not afraid. Then you're not afraid to erase the code or to fuck True. it up because you have a, an initial state. Um, yeah, but like you like said earlier, the, like as I say with, with your other example, yeah, yeah I think it's an. It, it, it works in your example of the plotter, but also in dancing is this idea of like to have a zero point, like a, a basic ground, then you can feel free to go in different directions. Because you, if you get lost, you know that you have an initial point. So then you can try to erase the whole code and maybe try from zero also. But if it's not working, then just just you click the button and go back uh, to and we know that which it is, works. Which is very, which is very, I think I, I do very much like that when I do my practice with you, I have my template and then I will do very much just sometimes I ask you your code and then I will just change some parameters and then sometimes it's not working and then I just copy paste the original thing. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. We can expand on it mm. next time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes, it was very nice. Say hello to to Florencia. That's her name. Her name is Florencia, right? <laughs> well, her name is Flor de Fuego. <laughs> I think her name. I think her name is Florencia. I think. Yeah. Her original name, is Florencia. Say hello to Florencia. <laughs> and and then I see you when I see you. Yeah. Okay. Just let me know. Yes. And thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, subscribe as always. Subscribe. Like the video. And there are people watching this, which is amazing. Yes, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. We have to see how for how long they stay because this is more than one hour that we're talking. But I know this one is more like, like a, yeah. This is like a, I remember, remember, remember the first chat that was like two hours or something. Oh, wow. And yes, true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then uh, good night and.
See you nice. next time.